Hey guys, welcome back to Howard the Horse Barbecue, and today we are making a Franklin Barbecue inspired barbecue sauce. Harry the Horse Barbecue. As you can see, we have all the ingredients laid out. This is called mise en place, getting all your stuff organized and ready to go. Okay, what I've done ahead of time is kind of peeled the jackets off of a couple of cloves of garlic. I've got about four, maybe a little more, tiny clove right there. Um, I've also got about half of a yellow sweet onion that I've already got ready to go. Um, so what we're gonna do to start is we're gonna preheat our pan. Okay, I'm using a stainless steel pan because if you use aluminum, it's a bit um, reactive. So I got a bunch of acids and things like that that are going in here. I don't want anything to kind of put any off flavors on this. So this is kind of about knowing your stove. I know my stove, it runs very hot, so I'm on a very low, I'm actually on the lowest setting here for the burner, but go with whatever medium heat that um, your stove kind of works with. So what we're gonna do to start is get our onion all situated. We're gonna take tops off our onion. This allows us to peel the skin back. Okay. And we are going to just do a rough chop on this onion, okay? Because what's gonna happen is we're gonna end up blending all this stuff together anyway, but we're gonna start by chopping up our yellow onion. Okay, other half. All right, okay. Now, now that that's all set up, I'm gonna start with about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons of just olive oil straight into the pan. Rough chop this garlic. Sometimes these garlic have uh, little ends to them. I like to take them off. Okay, and then we're just gonna give them a rough chop. Okay, just kind of go back and forth over the garlic. Doesn't have to be perfect. Just getting it ready. We want to add the onions before we add the garlic because we don't want the garlic to burn up in the oil. Now that it looks like our oil is kind of spreading out, heating up, we're gonna get these onions straight into the pan. So we're gonna saute these up until they become almost caramelized. Okay, we're just gonna stir them around. Once they start to change color, that's when we'll add our garlic. Our onions are starting to get really good color on them. Now it's time to add in our garlic. Notice how I'm stirring with a wooden spoon just something else that's not gonna be reactive to any of the ingredients that are being put into our pot here. Now we're gonna go in with our cup of dark brown sugar. We're gonna kinda of let this melt over the onions and over the garlic for a little bit. Then we're gonna cool it off with some apple cider vinegar. We don't want our sugar to burn here. So you can even see on low heat, this is still pretty hot. I'm gonna come in with my cup of apple cider vinegar, and I'll start to give this a stir. I'm also gonna come in with a little more acid, with about maybe a third of a lemon, and just come in straight lemon juice right into the pot, okay? Just to kind of give it a more natural acidic flavor. All right, now once this starts going, I'm gonna get my two cups of ketchup together, so. Let me actually open up this bottle first and then we can talk about ketchup. So everything that's going into our barbecue sauce, I want it to be as natural as possible. We don't want any high fructose corn syrup anywhere, anything like that. So I've got some all natural organic ketchup that I'm going to squeeze out into two cups, but the natural organic stuff, you know there's nothing 
gross or high fructose or anything about that that you don't want to put in your body. So if we're going to make a homemade sauce, we might as well make it as best as we can make it. Add one cup of ketchup in. Let's give that a mix. Next, I'm going to go in with maybe somewhere between a couple table or a couple teaspoons and a tablespoon of honey. So again, some more natural sweetness in here. It's about a tablespoon or so. Now is the point where you can kind of just start adding stuff to make it your own. Okay, I've got a series of different spices and flavorings and things like that that I'm going to add. Um, so at this point, you can kind of just run with it and make it your own. And this is kind of where I did the same thing, okay? This is where I'm really making it my own style of barbecue sauce. First, we're going to add some yellow mustard powder, a teaspoon of that. This is an emulsifier, kind of, kind of helps bring everything together. Half a teaspoon of ancho chili powder. This gives it sort of a smoky uh, spice on the back end of the sauce, really kind of to counterbalance that sweetness. So I think it's much needed here. We don't want a sauce that's too sweet. To complement that, we're gonna go with half a teaspoon of sweet and spicy Hungarian paprika. You can go a little more on the paprika, I just know this has got a little bit of spice on the back end, so I don't wanna blow anyone's heads off. Now I'm gonna start adding a couple of sweet elements here. I've got some pure maple sugar, which I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of. And the reason I'm doing half a teaspoon there is because I'm gonna follow up with another half teaspoon of some smoked bacon maple sugar. We don't want to add too much of this. It's pretty potent with the bacon flavor and the scent of bacon, okay? Kind of give it a nice kind of smoky, smoky note on the back end. Because I added some natural honey already, I'm gonna add just a little bit of honey powder. I would normally do about a teaspoon or more of this. I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon. Okay, because we already added some honey in there. A teaspoon, of course, black pepper. Lastly, we want to go down with some salt. And you want to use a fine salt, so that way it kind of easily um, melts throughout the whole thing. You don't get these big clumps of salt. But I'm going to split this up into two different types of salt. My one teaspoon, I'm going to split into two. So I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of fine pink Himalayan sea salt. Okay. Okay, again, we got that fine, the fine aspect here, so it kind of melts in pretty easily. And then to complement the bacon flavor we've already added, I'm gonna go in with some smoked bacon salt. Half a teaspoon of that. Give us another smoky, bacony kind of flavor throughout the sauce. Let's give this a stir. Get all those spices incorporated. Sure's looking good. Mm, smelling good. Lastly, I'm gonna go down with just a couple dashes of Worcestershire sauce, wash your sister sauce, no one knows how to say it. Okay, but we're going down with a couple dashes of that. Now I'm just gonna let this simmer for maybe a minute or two. Just kind of let all those spices still mix in. To the sauce and the next step is the blender tastes good all right guys so we blended up the sauce in the blender and now it's all ready to go before you stick this in the fridge, you really, really wanna make sure you cool it down first. You don't wanna stick a hot sauce in the fridge, not gonna be good for it. So we're gonna pour this in a couple of mason jars, let it cool until it reaches room temperature, then throw it in the fridge. Thank you guys for tuning in to Harry the Horse Barbecue. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. You can even follow us on Instagram at Harry the Horse Barbecue. Here's some nice sauce for you guys. Instead of eating that high fructose corn syrup stuff, just get after a jar of this. 
This is good stuff. It'll last you a couple weeks in the fridge, but I don't think it's going to last that long in this house. Thanks for watching. Catch you guys in the next one. That's the spice. It's hot.